Hi everybody, happy Friday and welcome back to Danielle Ability. Today I wanted to do a video that a lot of you have requested which is talking about hopping curbs. This is a pretty essential skill as a wheelchair user. It's something that comes in handy all the time. kid using a wheelchair a lot of times you'll have what are called tip bars which are basically like training wheels for a wheelchair they're curved bars in the back that have little wheels on them and it basically keeps you from tipping backwards because if you lean back at all in a wheelchair there is the risk of tipping back and so Tip bars kind of help you not do that. The first wheelchair that I had was given to my family by a friend, and so it didn't have tip bars. It just happened to not have them on there. And it was the early 90s, and so it wasn't as big of a thing then as it is now. So I never really got used to having them on there. The second wheelchair that I had, they came with it, and I took them off pretty much right away because I felt like it kind of restricted the things I was able to do. And I didn't hop curbs when I was really little, but even things like having other people help me up curbs or having my family help me up stairs and that kind of thing, I wasn't able to do with the tip bars on there. So I just felt like they kind of restricted what I was able to do and never really got used to having them on there. So. I took them off. I would say I probably started hopping curbs when I was between the ages of maybe 8 and 10. So I, you know, started out pretty simple with just little curbs here or there, nothing major. But I would say being able to do wheelies is a huge part of that and it really helps you build confidence for hopping curbs. If you're able to pop a wheelie and hold yourself up on a wheelie, it's a lot easier to have the confidence to go over a curb. There's still skills that I'm learning, so you won't find me going down a flight of stairs or anything like that, but I am able to hop most curbs. I'm not able to go up all curbs, you have to have a decent amount of momentum and there are curbs where if the timing is wrong I could fly out of my chair and that kind of thing so there are curbs that I won't go up I would say if it's more than three or three and a half inches I'm not able to do it on my own but if it's anything smaller than that it's no problem and going down curbs is a lot easier because you have gravity in your favor. So I go down the majority of curbs that I come across and it's no big deal. You know, obviously there are limitations to that. You're not gonna find me going down any 12 inch curbs or anything, but your standard curbs, I can pretty much hop those with no problem. Any higher curbs, I will have somebody help me. And it just kind of depends on the situation. If it's a smaller curb, typically I can just go front ways and they just need to give me a little extra push. Or if it's a bigger curb, I'll need to go backwards and they'll have to do it that way. And also if there's any kind of lip after the curb, I'm not able to get up those myself because my front wheels won't be able to get up the curb and then up a second step. So. For example, if it's going through a doorway and there's a step up into the doorway and then there's that little threshold on the door, typically I can't go up those front ways because I can't get up both of those things simultaneously. In which case, obviously I would require help.
As I mentioned, I'm still learning. I would love to learn how to go up and down stairs by myself. I've seen lots of other videos of people doing that, which you should definitely check out. It's amazing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think we all have different levels of things we're good at, things we're comfortable with, and it's a matter of trying things. guys today I hope that was helpful for you if you have any questions at all leave them in the comments below and I also wanted to mention that I do have a patreon account so if you are enjoying my channel and want to support me there is a link in the description where you can become a patron thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time